Welcome back to consecutive day 1126 of a diary of a runpreneur. And today's topic is nursing injuries and recovery runs. So remember to give this a subscribe, share, like, and comment as the more people we get in front of, the more money we raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. All the information about the challenge, how you can get involved in the link in the comments below. Thank you as always, and let's get started. So, consecutive day 1,126 of a diary of a runpreneur. And today's topic is nursing injuries and recovery runs. So, the um, reason for the topic is probably fairly self-explanatory. I am nursing a few tweaks and injuries here and there. And um, as I'm on a crazy running streak, um, I don't get a chance to sit down and just constantly rest up. I have to recover via recovery runs. Um, so first and foremost, it's a bit of a controversial topic, and um, I always try and and keep on the on the right side of controversy with my uh, with my my views and opinions, content, etc. Um, because I'd hate to think I'd been influencing somebody with bad advice. So firstly, I think it's fairly well known that rest is a clear winner when it comes to recovering from an injury or an illness. Um, clearly I don't rest when I'm injured or have illness of some kind because if I want to continue my running streak I have to run every day. Um, however I found a kind of a compromise which is you know really doing slow recovery running and I've actually found in my circumstances which wouldn't be for everyone but it's actually kind of aided my recovery because I think the, the issue with completely resting and doing nothing, certainly with muscle related injuries, is you can end up healing in a contract, your muscle in a contracted state, which then means when you stretch it or expand it, when you start doing exercise again, it can, uh, it's not used to it, it's very stiff and it can go again. Whereas if you do recovery running, in my instance, so when I have injuries, I just run really slowly, just to keep the muscles moving very gently, and um, keeping the blood flow through, flowing through them, which has proven to um, kind of aid my recovery. And um, physiotherapists will kind of back me up on, on this to a degree, in that when you're injured of some kind, after you've had the initial rest, then comes the rehabilitation, which is the gentle movements motion, which, uh, which is getting blood flow, stretching out the muscles. So I just missed out stage one. But um, the reason for the topic today is that I'm uh, every year in our local fundraising community run, which raises quite a lot of money for the local school. Um, I always pace uh, the 10K running event, which is it's called the Fen Gallop. It's a it's a 10K, 50% off road, 50% on road. It's a hard 10K because uh, whenever you chuck off road into the equation, it's 30% harder than road running. Um, and this year, I found it particularly hard because. For the last three months now, I've been struggling with plantar fasciitis. I've talked quite a lot about this in previous blog episodes. So I'm not going to go into too much detail, but ultimately that's the, the fascia on the sole of my foot or plantar, which are the Latin terms that I think for sole or bottom. Um, and um, what it means is that it's an inflammation of that kind of fascia, which is like a tendon, which keeps everything knitted together at the sole of your feet. And, um, when you struggle with this, I'm just going to pass some dogs. So just bear with me a second. Hopefully, I don't get absolutely savaged. A couple of big dogs. Just walk past these guys. Thank you. They were just eyeing me up. Uh, looked like they were going to get some lunch there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So ultimately, um, it's going to be a tough. It's, it's an injury, which is an inflammation of the fascia of the undersole of my foot, which goes right away from the Achilles across the heel, right the way up to the ball of your foot. And um, yeah, it's not, it's not pleasant. It's uh, incredibly painful. It can take up to a year to recover, sometimes two years, because you can't rest ever, because your sole of your foot, unless you're lying in a bed, you're generally walking about or moving of some kind, which makes it an incredibly difficult inflammation to bring down and recover. So I've just been running through it and it's been a really uncomfortable three months of running. Um, it has started to ease a little bit, but, um, and as a result, because I'm so consciously aware of it, my left calf, which is the calf 
attached to where I'm struggling with the injury on the sole of my left foot, um, it's become very tight and it's that feeling where it could, it could, I could pull a calf muscle at any point. So I'm a bit nervous about the race. I've practiced this week, done a couple of pacing runs because I have to run it in 45 minutes, which is probably the equivalent of a 42 to 43 minute 10k on a road. So it's quite a pace. Um, and usually it's not a problem, but with everything that's going on, it has become quite a challenge for me this year. So um, we'll see how it goes. But um, the, the kind of most of the story today when I'm talking about recovering, you know, nursing injuries and recovery runs, um, this is what I do when I'm, when I'm listening to my body. When I feel something's not quite right, I just slow everything down. I slow everything down. Oh, I'm just going through some really bad bugs there. Excuse me. Oh, I got it out of my eye. It's horrible when you get a bug that flies into your eye. But anyway, I digress. Um, yeah, and the most of the story today is listen to your body. Um, but just because I run every day doesn't mean I don't get injured. I get injured like anybody does, and I have illnesses like anybody does, as, as you do just through day-to-day -day life. But um, I always try and nurse them through to, to recovery by utilising recovery running, slowing everything down, just being very, very slow and gentle as I can be. And I found that to be a good um, compromise for my recovery from injury. So, um, yeah, that's it for me today. Um, I'll update you tomorrow how the, how the pacing run goes. Fingers crossed it can, I can stay together and get round it as I'm hoping I can. Um, but, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. So, uh, any questions or comments, drop me a line. I'll respond to everyone. Remember to give this a subscribe, share, like and comment. As more people get in front of the more money we raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultramarathon. Thank you as always. Stay positive, stay happy. And I'll see you again tomorrow.